and welcome to the End Time Show Far Channel. I'm Gerald, and we'll be discussing Selena Gomez, witchcraft, necromancy, and black magic. Now, a couple of weeks ago, Selena, she was on the Jimmy Fallon show, and being interviewed, she told Jimmy that she believed in ghosts. She pulled out her iPhone, where she had a phone app. It was called Ghost Hunting, where she stated that she was able to communicate with the spirits, said that the spirits knew certain aspects of her life, and I just kind of find it ironic that she would promote this occult type practice. And it's kind of ironic also too how Disney is a prime example of the entertainment industry where they seem to project a good girl clean image on certain celebrities such as Miley Cyrus, Britney Spears, and Selena Gomez herself to create almost a cult-like following and then they lure unsuspecting young girls and they have their parents buy them all these videos, posters, CDs, clothing, and other merchandise because they're deceived into thinking that these teen celebrities are good clean-cut examples and role models and after seducing their audience into buying into the clean image, the industry flips the switch and begins promoting perversion, rebellion, and it's through these teen celebrities that our children are being enticed to follow things that promote immorality and satanic new age teachings. So we'll go ahead and we will do an in-depth look into Selena Gomez, witchcraft, necromancy, and black magic. Congrats on everything. How are you? Everything good? Yeah. You're looking, I'm you're looking great, great on oh, all God. these things. What? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come Thanks. on. On the cover, <laughs> uh, And this album, Revival, uh, is uh, this comes out. People are saying that it, it's going to be number one, uh, maybe they're saying this week. So, congratulations oh, on that. We're hoping. Yeah. We're hoping. Uh, and the tour starts up soon, right? In May? Yeah, the tickets go on sale soon, actually, in a few days, and I'll be touring in May. Um, the Revival yeah. Tour, and it starts in Las Vegas? Yes. Oh, my God. Maybe Dangerous. Link, maybe Lincoln Chafee will be there. Yeah, I'll be excited. <laughs> uh, but that's exciting to go on tour. Do you like going on tour? I do, yeah. I think it's, it's exciting to be able to bring the music that you create to life. You know? Yeah. But you go around different places, and we were talking because we were talking about scary things and stuff backstage, and you said, yeah, when you, you went to this one venue, you have an app that tells you if there's ghosts. Or yeah, so I believe in um, yeah. I believe in ghosts. So I have a ghost app. Yeah, I believe in them uh, too. I think. But I feel like they're. But you have able... a ghost app. I don't even remember. Yeah, heard yeah. Of this. I have my phone. Okay. Um, no, so I believe that you know spirits can tap into technology. Why not, right? Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to debate okay, you on this. I believe in it. I think it's real. Well, I didn't say anything. I just okay, said I'm yeah. Just... I don't know. I didn't... I'm not fighting you. I'm not debating you. I'm, I'm being. I... They might. <laughs> Be able to tap into technology. So you have a ghost app? Yes. I haven't used it here yet because I thought I could do it with you. Oh, this is going to scare me. No, no, no. It's fine. Well, this is an old studio. It's been around for a long time. I know. All right. Here's my phone. Okay. That's your phone. Jabasoff? Yes. So you, ghost you, Hunter? Yes. Oh, I don't want to kill the ghost. No, 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 no. Oh, so no. It's working. It's working. So. Wait, is that me? That's my voice. Am I a ghost? <laughs> it's reading. <laughs> it's recording my voice. No, it's not recording your voice. But why see the green things going up and down when I'm talking? Because just in case there are spirits. Oh. I just heard something. What does that mean? Wait, what does that mean? That means there's one. There's one goat. Up. Oh. There's two goats? Yep. There's I'm two. not kidding. Children. Wait, stop, oh, that's stop, that, stop that's... playing the music. What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Children? Yes, children. That's what it said. What does it say there? But it just said children in yeah. a weird voice. Yeah. Like a Knight Rider voice. Well, you can't, David you can't force it. It's, <laughs> you can't force it. It's going to happen this, on its own. Oh, oh, I can't force it to happen. No, 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 no. It happens. So it already happened. So we missed it. No, no. Well, why would the ghost say children? Well, do people have children here? <laughs> yes, of course. But that's, <laughs> I don't have children. <laughs> so it's, they're not mad at me. They're mad at y'all. Wait, but this is, <laughs> it's not saying the ghost is mad no, at I, anyone. I that's just you. happen to have a deep voice. No, go, I Gildred. It's got a computer voice. It's good. It Yo, says drop. things. Look, it just was, says anything. This thing I, doesn't I was work. In a venue I don't know. And this it ghost hunter. Said Gildred. People. Maybe that's all it says. It said people in my life by name. Who? Mildred? 
Bill of Dread. Um, they said like, the same thing. It sounds like children. My, they no. just said the same name over and over. Like, how did he know my friend's you know name what? is Mildred? You know what? You're actually upsetting the spirits. They're mad at you. For oh my God! Don't say that. No. no. All right. So wait, wait. They actually knew your friend was there, though. No, they have. They've listed it as names. I'm not kidding. By by far, with their next to me. I buy this. Me. I wanted what. Well, I don't know. No, I shut it down. Don't worry. I'm, I'm, I can't. I'm not worried about anything. I was, you know, I was laughing about when we were doing rehearsal. And by the way, you sound fantastic. Thank you. Love the new jam. Love the other song. I love the whole record. It's getting great reviews. Congrats. Mm -hmm. But uh, during rehearsal, you were saying that your voice, you think that your voice is very deep. Yes, I do. But it's not. Well, no. Hey, I was, <laughs> I was extremely insecure when I was younger because I kind of have a lower register. And when I was recording records in the past, I felt like I needed to change my voice. So for this record, I spent a year and a half on it. And I actually learned that it's an asset to me. It actually creates this emotion that I can translate through my music. But you were doing Johnny Cash for me earlier. In this, yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny. I could do it. Could you do it? Yeah. I, we always have two microphones okay, here okay. just in case something comes up. Can you hear me? OK, yeah. I fell into a burning ring of fire And down, down, down And the flames went high And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire Children Children The ring of children This thing doesn't work. Get rid of this thing. Hey, I'm leaving it! What you do? Uh, we got to talk congrats and everything, and we're right. going to do a little some fun thing uh, yeah. that is interactive as well. Oh. <laughs> I just heard the thing. We'll be right back. It's with more Selena Gomez. It isn't off. It's, it's off. Now, we listened to Selena Gomez on the Jamie Fallon show. She stated that you can use technology to communicate with the spirit world. What she was actually trying to do is the emergence of technology and the occult. Solomon said it best in Ecclesiastes 1 and 9, there's nothing new under the sun. When we look at the famous inventor Thomas Edison, which, in fact, his parents were involved in spiritualism and Edison himself carried on that same occult practice of spiritualism in his own life. He stated the following. He says, I don't claim that our personalities pass on to another existence or sphere, he told Scientific America in 1920. I don't claim anything because I don't know anything about the subject. For the matter, no human being knows. But I do claim that it is possible to construct an apparatus which I will be so delicate that if there are personalities in another existence or sphere who wish to get in touch with us in this existence or sphere, the apparatus will at least give them a better opportunity to express themselves than the tilting tables and the wraps and the Ouija boards and the mediums and other crude methods now perpetrated to be the only means of communication. So same guidelines that Selena Gomez was talking about. Edison was thinking about coming up with this particular technology to communicate with the spirits. Now you have phone apps that you can actually do this occult practice of necromancy, of communicating with the spirits. When we take a look at Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 9 through 12 from the Amplified Version. It states the following about necromancy and this practice being an actual abomination in the eyesight of God. It says, when you enter the land which the Lord your God is giving you, you should not learn to imitate the detestable or repulsive practices of those nations. There should not be found among you anyone who makes his son or daughter pass through the fire as a sacrifice, one who uses divination and fortune telling, one who practices witchcraft, or one who interprets omens, or a sorcerer, or one who casts a charm, or a spell, or a medium, or a spiritist, or a necromancer who seeks the dead. For everyone who does these things is utterly repulsive to the Lord. Because of these detestable practices, the Lord your God has driven them out 
before you. Now, at occultopedia.com, it states the following about necromancy. It says, necromancy is the art and practice of divine in the future by summoning and communication and or the aid of the dead. It also states that this practice was very popular in ancient Greece, ancient Rome, and ancient Persia. And also, too, that this was a prominent practice used by diviners and occultists Now, one of the early Christian church writings from one of the church fathers, Tertullian Treatises of the Soul, 157 says, Magic and sorcery only seem to raise the dead. Only God can really raise the dead. The medium of Endor could not have raised Samuel. It was a trick of her demon. Ghosts can appear to people, only demons. Now, in early Christian writings, we find in Divine Institutes 4 and 27, even the Greek gods flee when the name of Jesus is used. If a god is commanded to tell the truth, it confesses that it is a demon. If one calls up Jupiter or one of the other from the dead, they would confess they were men and not gods and that there is only one true God. The spirits that pretend to be them lie. Revelations 18 and 23 says, and never again will the light of a lamp shine in you, and never again will the voice of the bridegroom and bride be heard in you. For your merchants were the great and prominent men of the earth, because all the nations were deceived and misled by your sorcery, your magic spells and poisonous charms. So it shouldn't come any surprise that we've seen Selena Gomez on the Jimmy Fallon show promoting the cult. Of course, when she was on Disney, the show that she starred in was Wizards of Waverly, which promoted witchcraft. And witchcraft and sorcery is a big time business. And it's a method being used to deceive the masses in this planet. And as we can see, it goes all the way back to Mystery Babylon, the mother of all harlots, the premise of all false religion that started with Nimrod and his wife, Semiramis, and it carries on to this very day until the end comes and Jesus Christ brings an end to this madness and this deception. This is the End Time Shofar channel. God bless.